friends, today we are going to read Root the Roaring Dinosaur. Root the Roaring Dinosaur loud his name. It was Root's favorite thing ever. Root and his mommy always hid from the rain together. And played in the sun together. Who never went anywhere without his mummy. And wherever his mummy went, Ru always followed. Then one day, shh, whoosh, hiss. It was a flying thing, red and blue and big and round and it was coming Ru's way. Ru ran, said Ru. Ru hide. Morning, morning, the little teacher landed back right in front of Ru's nose. Off. The new creature looked worried. My bone is broken, he said. He looked so sad that Ru decided to do something funny to cheer him up. Play Ru, he said. The new creature tried a smile. All right, Ru, he said. I am Molly, by the way. So Ru showed Molly a game to play in the sun. And what to do when the rain came down? Then Ru took Molly to his favorite place. Tasty coconut coolers and had lumpy, lumpy, piggy back rides. Only showed Ru how to make a camp. They had supper on sticks and sang fireside songs. And when it got dark, they lay on the grass and watched shooting stars until they fell asleep. The next morning, we looked sad again. I wish I could stay and play, but I really have to go home now, he said. The trouble is, my bone has a hole in it, and I don't know how to fix it. Who wanted to help, but there was only one thing that was the right shape and size to patch up the hole, and it was Ruth Mummy. Mine, said Ruth. No, give me one. Then Ruth thought very hard. Mummy belonged to Ru, but now Wooly needed it more, so Ru made a very big decision. He hugged his mummy one last time and gave Mummy. He said, "Thank you, Ru," said Wooly. "You are the best friend ever." And together they stitched Mooney all over the hole in Wooly's balloon. But the balloon still wouldn't fly. I forgot, said Wooly. It needs lots and lots of hot air. And that's when Ruth had a brilliant idea. Suddenly, the balloon goes up in the air. Now, I know why you are called Ru. 
Only laughed. Bye, Ru, he called. I won't forget you. Bye, Ru, called back. Who miss you? And then more quietly, bye, Mummy, he said. Mummy and the balloon were soon far, far away. So was Ru's moon. Can you see? Something is floating here. And suddenly, you looked up and saw something floating down towards him. This is for you. Ooh, no, Wooly. Mew, mew, mew. Lord grew happy. Wow. Mew, and off he went to play with his new favorite thing ever. The end! Did you enjoy the story?